Hey everybody, Turtle Vision is back with another review, this time San Marino. It is Megara and the song 1111. And this is a Spanish band. Oh. Do you know how I know that? I do not. Because I watch Benidorm and they participated and they did very, very well there. Mm, they very had a very impressive performance there. Very interesting. So I'm um, very excited to see what they did for San Marino. Well, last year they had the Pete Jacks band from Italy. That was one of my very favorites from the competition. So I'm oh, excited yeah, to see this. Yeah. I know you torture me with that song in the car quite often. Yeah, it's great. I'm excited for this. Let's go. Interesting. Okay. Their outfits are super cool. <laughs> They're different. Huh. This is weird. She really can sing. I, I'm enjoying her vocal performance a lot so far. Yeah, she has perfect rock vocals, she you know? Does. She knows how to do it well. <laughs> Graphics is very fun and interesting. Okay, what we will see there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my Whoa. God. <laughs> it's kind of. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was All cool. Right. Oh, mm, nice. Oh, here we this go. This is beautiful. That was cool. Yeah, that was, that was cool. a very cool moment. That was cool. <laughs> the drummer's having a good time back there. Yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get the breakdown, yes. too. Oh, it's even, it's ending. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's rate it. Let's give it a rating. Let's yeah. dig in. Okay, let's give the song a rating. We start with the song itself. What do we think of the tune? We said, nice. I This was catchier than I thought it was gonna be for mm -hmm. one, and I really loved the middle and end sections of the song. Yeah. Um, well put together. Uh, interesting and well produced. It sounded good. I liked it. Yeah, I like the song that they had for Benidorm, a song they called Arcadia, mm. way more. Okay. But this one, what saved me, the same, like for you, that instrumental part, that was sick. I loved it. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah. And the ending where they started to go up, 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 and abruptly stopped. Yeah. I think construction of the song is very interesting. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Next up, we have the vocals. What do we think of that singer? We said, again, uh, perfectly fit the song. I think she's a great rock singer. I really do. I don't think that she's, again, the most dazzling vocalist in the competition, but did great with that song, did great with the live performance while she's still moving around and rocking and making threatening faces to people in the audience. And she sounded great. She had that nice snarl to the, to you know, perfect kind of growl in her voice uh, without ever overdoing it, you know? It's good. I liked it. I think she's an excellent singer in her genre. Mm -hmm. Also, additional bonus points for how confident she is. For her attitude, go. she doesn't act like it's competition. Yeah. She acts like she came to slay, she owns the stage. Mm -hmm. She It's like all these people came to see her. And that voice yeah. of hers represents that yeah. very well, yeah, absolutely. perfectly. Yeah. Next is staging and presentation. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Um, you could tell it wasn't a high cost production. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't nearly as polished as some of the, mm -hmm. the other larger entries, uh, but I think they did a great job with what they had. Yeah. Um, for a rock band, you know, their outfits were kind of cool, but we have to talk about that awesome moment where the masks come off yeah. and the dancers <laughs> come out. That was really uh, neat. Uh, didn't cost them a thing. It, it took a lot of talent um, from a number of people, I'm sure, to put that together, and it paid off. I think it really paid off. It, it made the presentation for me. Yeah, it gave you that wow moment, like you're <gasps> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. choreography was very cool. It's great. Like I like I said, I watched Ben and Arm, you heard all that, and they did an amazing performance there. So mm -hmm. I'm more than sure that staging for your revision will be Yeah. So yeah. probably from seven they have all the changes move to ten in our ratings in the future. Let's I see agree. what they bring for your revision. Let's do it. Next we come to uniqueness. How does it stand out from the rest of the competition? <laughs> Again, we agree. <laughs> it's uh, The song itself is a rock song, which stands out a little bit in the competition mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. I haven't heard a lot of that. It's not a very unique rock song. Uh, it's well done, but it's not unique. Yeah. You wouldn't call it that. Uh, also, there's a lot of kind of more dark themed entries this year. And I think this one stood out from those in a good way. Uh, it seemed more stylish rather than edgy. And I yeah. appreciated that. 
Yeah, I agree. It's not like unique in, in their genre, but it's unique for Eurovision. So mm -hmm. six is kind of like fair point for me. And finally, we come to our own personal preference. What did we think of the song? Individually, we said, okay, I liked it a lot. I don't know if it's quite ready for a playlist of mine <laughs> yeah. just yet. Uh, I like it. It's not directly my style of kind of thing, but I did enjoy it. Uh, I liked it a lot more than other things that I've seen in the competition so far. I like the energy. I like the art style. I love rock music, mm -hmm. different kinds of rock music. Yeah. So this is more close to my heart, but maybe not my favorite song, but we're pretty much on top of what we heard this year in Eurovision. Nice. Okay, well, I think they did pretty well. I'm, in, I'm impressed with this year. You know what? I like their song more than what Spain sent this year for Eurovision. Dun, uh -oh. dun, dun. <laughs> well, well, well. On that bombshell, what did you think of the song? Let us know in the comments. As always, like, subscribe. We will see you next time. Turn a vision out.